Hello my beautiful drone flying friends. So today we're going to talk about why your drone wobbles and what you can do about it. This video is based on an article on DroneFlyingPro.com so go check out that article. I'll leave a link in the description but also if you just go to Google type in Drone Flying Pro and then why does my drone wobble you'll get to this article. That's probably the quickest way to do it so go and do that and uh, yeah I'll see you over there. That article has got tons of links out other videos made by other people that I think are valuable if your drone is wobbling and you want it to stop. Okay let's look at the most important settings now that you should consider. Drones are tricky to build and a lot of people see this wobbling when they are building their own drone. Um, the wobbling sort of looks like little oscillations, um, it can also be larger sort of amplitudes so moving much more but essentially you're looking for this wobbling, any wobbling and these are the settings you should uh, think about and also you know this isn't just for drones that you've built yourself, this is for drones that you've bought like um, DJI drones or, or other uh, brands but the thing is is that something's out of calibration or out of its optimal settings in the software. Um, you can also experience wobbling if you've upgraded your hardware, it's changed the weight distribution of your uh, drone and the PID settings that we'll talk about in a minute are just not right for the new setup of the hardware. So it's part hardware, part software and it's a bit more of an art than a science to be honest. The settings that if you're building your own drone you should worry about the most are the PID settings, the PID settings. So these essentially kind of keep the, the drone at a level position um, when you're not touching the drone and P stands for proportional, I stands for integral and D stands for derivative. Now it doesn't really matter what they mean, it's just the PID settings. Um, in your software it may be called um, PID or it may be called its long name, it doesn't really matter but essentially P looks at the present error and tries to correct it. So if your drone is a little bit off center or it's drifting or whatever it is, the P setting just is always looking at where is the drone right now and how do I get that drone to its kind of natural stationary position. Then I looks at the past errors and D looks at the future errors because D is like a shock absorber for the movement because what you don't want to do is for P to aggressively correct and then it overshoot and then it has to do it again and that's what can cause this oscillation. Um, and so setting these up is, you know, there are some rules of thumb which I'll talk about in a minute for each one but uh, yeah you just need to go through and tune that so you don't end up with an oscillation, too much overshoot because that can be an issue. Okay so let's look at the P, the proportional settings. So if it's set too high your drone will oscillate because it's aggressively trying to get back to that um, to that kind of set position so it's it's aggressively it's hard it's it's going you know it's going its best to try to keep to that set position um, and so if it's too low it will be slow to respond and if you're um, flying the drone around it will be slow and feel sluggish so that can indicate that you've got a uh, p-value that's set too low. The rule of thumb is that if you get your um, p-value, increase it until you see an oscillation and then set it to about 50% of that value. Um, that is a great way to kind of see what range your p-value should be in um, and as soon as you see that oscillation back it off by 50% and you should be good to go. The I value is a little bit different but essentially what you want to do is leave the I value as low as possible um, so that you don't see any oscillations. So just decrease that a little bit at a time until you start to see um, you know, slow and sluggish behavior and then uh, yeah you just kind of set it there. So the I is the integral looks at past errors and uh, leaving it at the lowest value will give you the best results. And D. So D is, like I said, the shock absorber for your drone and so uh, if it is set too high it will oscillate. So it will not, it will, uh, not predict the overshoot 
and it will oscillate because it won't have uh, enough sort of uh, precision or, or predictive power to try and stop it from doing this. And if it's too low, you'll find that it doesn't react um, quick enough. And when you're flying it around, you may have to kind of manually change its position, that sort of stuff. The rule of thumb for this one is increase it until you start to see those oscillations and then back it off by 50%. And so the combination of the D and the P will mean that you have the perfect settings and you won't see those oscillations. So there we are, PID settings. They are the most important thing. Go check out the article that this video is based on because it has um, a detailed a video of someone else uh, calibrating their drone and it's far better to watch them do it. It's a fantastic video, that's why it's in the article, so go check that out. But what else can be causing your drone to oscillate? Maybe you've got the perfect PID settings or maybe you can't access them because you have a DJI drone or a drone where you, you haven't built yourself. Um, it all comes down to calibration. Now it's so important that you calibrate your drone so that uh, it regularly uh, is easy and nice and stable and yeah doing it every so often you know once a month or so is no problem at all and so there's a few things so um, the ESC the electronic speed controller if you've built your own drone you've got access to that that is very important I've also got a video on the article about doing it all in one go because there are a few settings in there but there's a fantastic way and I've linked to someone else's video which is fantastic about doing it in, in all in one which is great. Um, and then if you've got a DJI drone, you need to look at the IMU in the DJI Go 4 settings app. Um, this is the inertial measurement unit and uh, it is responsible for all of the calculations to keep your drone super stable and stop that wobble. So if in doubt, go calibrate that. And the last thing is your compass. The compass can actually cause a little bit of uh, wobble if it's not calibrated properly or if you're flying near uh, power lines and that sort of stuff. So yeah, go check out all of the things you can calibrate and calibrate it. Those are the ways that you're gonna be able to stop your drone from wobbling. If the software stuff isn't really working for you, then you need to check the hardware stuff. So the hardware comes down to the propellers, the motors, the balance. Have you changed anything on your self-built drone? Uh, have your propellers come into um, contact with anything? Are they chipped? Are they balanced? Are the motors not spinning properly? You know, all of these checks are really important. Grab your drone and let's have a look to see if it's something on that. So here's my DJI Mavic Air. It's a fantastic drone. Even in 2020, I highly recommend this drone. Um, but yeah, have a look to see if your motors are spinning freely. Make sure that the propellers are properly in their holder. So push down and then give them a little bit of a wobble. So I like to push them in and then just give them a little bit of a wobble while holding the motor to make sure they're in there tight. Um, and then if you've built your own drone, you need to make sure that it is spinning the right direction. Um, that's really important because uh, any wrong direction is just gonna make the drone wobble, if not just crash. Um, so yeah, having a look at the arms, having a look at the body, are there any cracks in the arms? Is there any reason why the motor's not spinning freely? Um, are the propellers nice and smooth? Touch them with your fingers and also run your fingers along the leading and trailing edge of the propellers and that will tell you whether or not there's any chips. Um, these propellers, you know, they're relatively inexpensive and they're kind of like the tires on a car. If they're worn down, replace them. Um, so yeah, having a look at the physical condition and balance of the drone is so very important if it's wobbling. So there we have it. There are all the reasons why your drone may be wobbling. Go check out my article on droneflyingpro.com and I shall see you in the next video.